you all welcome back to let's deal with it well <clears throat> I'm sure anyone who has been with me in this um I don't know it's been about a year a year and a little bit I suppose um, since I came back to YouTube um, my heart is very heavy you all <clears throat> it's very heavy Today is um, December 30th, 2022, and it is 64 degrees. I know that many of you follow Brother um, Anthony, and I'm so glad that you do, because if there's ever a person that I know that I know that I know has the Holy Spirit and is led and uh, taught by the Holy Spirit, Brother Anthony Williams is one of them. Um, and there are many others. There, there really are. Um, we just had temperatures that was two and three degrees. Um, gas bills ran up to probably hundreds to thousands of dollars, some of us. And um, <clears throat> the last three days has been such warm temperatures it it doesn't make a bit of sense um, because it's it's not normal it's not normal weather at all um, this is absolutely man-made <clears throat> I'm heavy because not just because of that but I was getting up getting my son and one of my grandsons some um, oatmeal and toast and um, I was listening to brother Anthony's video his stuff sounds very similar to mine's when he talks about there is no one saved always saved and how we need to be repenting and we should be repenting every day um, we can sh fall short of God's grace every day you all and it's nothing for us to feel condemned about that's not what God's into God doesn't condemn us but we should have a reverential adoration and fear of God yes we really should because after all he is holy and pure and righteous and perfect in all of his ways but I was hearing the Holy Spirit say to me you know, Marsha, this started in the Garden of Eden. And I said, yep, Holy Spirit sure did. When the enemy, Hasatan, Satan, spoke through the serpent and he told Eve, has God said, has God said that you would surely die? And God surely told them, and the day you eat, you will die. And the thing is, we don't understand the worst death is to die spiritually when Adam and Eve disobeyed God spiritually they were dead they were no longer connected to God no longer they were dead spiritually and there are worse things than dying and that is dying and going to hell so when Lucifer Satan told Eve God knew that in the day that you would eat, that you would be like God. And you know, the Holy Spirit was saying, they're still hearing the voice of the enemy to this very day, that Jesus is not coming. Everything's going to be okay. It's okay if I still smoke weed, drink a little, twerk, go out lie uh, I can just I, I can claim to be a Christian because I did say the sinner's prayer and I do believe in Jesus that he died for my sins and the Lord God rose him from the grave so I am a Christian I go to church every Sunday I pay my tithes all the while having purposeful sin in our lives never repenting never talking to God and God knows folks don't pray 
Because if you're praying and if you're reading the word, you is hearing the voice of God. And the only one that doesn't want us to pray and read our Bibles is the, is the sin nature and Satan and demonic entities. They don't want you to get in the word of God. Because even if you're struggling with anything, let's say gossiping, lying, lust, let's, whatever your sins may be, when you pray and when you spend time in God's word, the Holy Spirit convicts us. And when we open up our mouths and confess our sins to God, he will not only just forgive us, you all, the Bible says he will, can, he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm burning up in this coat. It's unreal. Here I am dressing appropriately for the season. And, and wow. Anyway, you all, <clears throat> the Bible says, there is a way that seems right to a person, but the end is eternal damnation, it's destruction. And you hear the word and you think destruction means it'll come to an end. No, this is a destruction that will last for eternity because Brother Anthony is right. I thought about what he was saying and I've read it many times about Moses couldn't look at God in his natural form, in his physical body. Because number one, our bodies are corrupted, full of sin. It's a corrupted flesh. If the tent that houses our spirit and souls is corrupted, it's going back ashes to ashes and dust to dust. This thing, it, it can't go before a holy God. So that should tell you when the Bible says, the soul that sinneth shall surely die. And see, a lot of people think, oh, you're just going to be physically dead and you just will be, that's it, you'll just be dead. No, 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 no. See, the death that most people don't realize when the Lord says, for the wages of sin is death. That's eternal damnation. That's the second death. The first death is to die physically is to expire in this body, stop breathing, stop living. That's the first, first death. But the second death is to be eternally separated from God forever and to be in hell's fire. Yes. And that's the death that God was talking about. That's the death that the Lord is speaking about when he says, for the wages of sin is death. And I thought about when Brother Anthony said, to be absent from the body is to be present from the is to be present before the Lord. It's to be with God. When you are truly uh, converted and living for God, you don't have to fear dying physically because you're not gonna be dead spiritually, which means it's to be eternally, eternally separated from God. That's the second death. Yes, yes, that, that's exactly right, you all. Yep, and a lot of people don't even know that. They think, well, if I don't go to heaven, I'm just gonna be dead. I'm just gonna be dead. I'm not gonna live anywhere. I'm not gonna live on. Yes, you are. Because before we were ever put, as Brother Anthony called it, in a meat suit, I say the physical body, because this is a physical body meant to live in the earth. Human beings was created by God, number one, to live forever in perfect uh, holiness and righteousness. The body didn't become corrupted till Adam and Eve sinned. They was perfect. They was meant to live in those physical tents forever. Now our physical tents are corrupted. It's, it's, it's putrefied. You all, I wouldn't listen to Satan. I would not trust in my own mind and in my own heart because the Bible says the heart is desperately wicked above all things. You know how people say, just follow your heart, trust your heart. The Bible says our hearts are desperately wicked. See, that's why it's important to read God's word, to know who he is. 
God's first attribute, essence, is holiness. Number one. I said number one. After that, he's creator. And everything God created, he said it is good. And everything he created, Satan perverted. Everything. Yep. Yes. Yes. And thank you, Holy Spirit. I was looking at a video that Brother Anthony put up of a little child. He was like, not an infant. He was like a young toddler. Yeah, he was about almost two. And the boy, the little boy was persistent in getting up on them bars. And God used the kitty cat to dis deter the little boy. But did you see? Y'all need to go look at that video because it will show you the sin nature. The boy, the child, was he was determined to climb up on them poles and probably fall to kill himself. But God in his mercy and his goodness and his kindness used that cat to save that child's life. Mm -hmm. Because sin is persistent. It'll never give up. It'll take you all the way to hell's fire. Yes. It'll never stop. And the only way we can, you say, well, did, well, Marcia, then how is there any hope for us? Jesus is our hope. Jesus is the one. And see, hope, this ain't nothing about magic. Hope in the Lord is, is so powerful, it changes everything. I said it changes everything. The literally our blessed hope in him is him coming to redeem us out of these bodies. Because what's coming out of this pathetic thing is my spirit and my soul. Because before I existed, you existed in a physical body. We were already in the minds of God. We was already spirits and souls. Yes. Yes, you all. I'm telling you the truth. And see, what folks don't realize is what is more important than this world we looking around at, I don't care from Paris to, to, to Canada, to America, to Israel, to the Bush Gardens, to Africa, to Alaska, you all, the entire world is corrupted. I said the entire world has fallen under the weight and the corruption of sin. Yes. When Adam, Adam and Eve sinned, the whole earth fell under a curse. See, y'all didn't know that. It's in the Bible. It's in Genesis. It's in a few places. The whole earth is yearning for the true sons of God, the true saints, to be caught up because it knows it's next. The earth is waiting. It's waiting to be, uh, in a way, born again, made brand new. This whole world is corrupted. Nature is ganked. The atmospheres, the galaxies is fill, filled with evil entities. God said he's going to make new heavens and a new earth. Yes. You all, people are working out, getting their best bodies. And it's nothing but filthy, putrefied flesh. It's going to burn forever. Yes. If you die without living for Jesus Christ, by way of the power of the Holy Ghost. Because see, when Jesus defeated hell, death, and the grave, he defeated sin's power over us. It's control. This is how we are able to live holy, righteous, sanctified life. It's not in us. Oh, no. I know better than that. Ain't no way. And I, I'm so used to not masturbating, and I thank God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I don't count the years or the months anymore. It's been well over five years. I'm thinking four, but because I don't, I keep my minds on things my mind on the things of the spirit because if you keep your mind on the things of the spirit you will do the things of God but if you keep your mind on the things of the flesh which means sin nature that's whose master is over you the sin nature 
And how can someone claim to be born again of the spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost, and therefore live any longer controlled by sin? You're not saved. You're not born again. And if you are, you're carnal or lukewarm. And worse, once saved, always saved, because that's the worst. They're all bad. It's bad to say, Lord, Lord, because you think you've done so many righteous acts that they're going to afford you into heaven. Lord's going to say, it's okay. You is a chronic smoke, a weed smoker. You lie. You deceive. You're not married. You're sexing. Because you do uh, what you think are good works for me, I'm going to let you in my holy abode. It's not going to happen. Because if that's the case, why did God judge Satan and 33% of the angels in heaven? Why did they fall? Why did he evict them? And why, better yet for us, it says hell is enlarging itself. For who? Not necessarily those who are sinners. Yes, they're going. Unfortunately, because they reject Jesus. But hell is going to be full of people who think they're good. They, they, they going to be the most disappointed. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. See, that's the voice of the enemy. But I'm a good person. I, I, I don't do evil, wicked things. All sin deserves judgment. I said, all sin deserves hell's fire. Yeah, see, the devil got some people so deceived. And you say, well, then, Marsha, if we all sin and fall short every day, then, we, then we're not going. Yes, we are, because we're repenting every day. See, people think sinning can just be lying, gossiping, smoking, twerking, drinking, getting drunk, getting high. Um, and unforgiveness is a huge one. God, Jesus Christ said, if you don't forgive others of their sins, I can't forgive you of your sins. That's why a whole heap of Christians going to be in hell. They never forgave their ex-husband, their ex-wife, their children, their sister, their brothers. Y'all, themselves. Do you know that's a false sense of humility when we think that we've done something so bad that even God can't forgive us and we don't forgive ourselves? See, that's a trick of the enemy. Satan has so many ways, nothing new, but so many devices and ways to deceive humanity. Yes, the Bible called him the deceiver of the nations. Yes. We're going to wait in the water. Yeah, I need y'all to think about these things. God says that he separates a people for himself. Every day we need to be saying, Lord, forgive me for not praying today. Lord, I haven't been in your word the way I need to. Those are spiritual sins. Now, a whole people, a whole bunch of folks right there are going to disqualify to go in the hypotso. How is you going to be spirit to spirit and your spirit never talk to Jesus? You never pray. You never read God's word. And then you're barren. You're, 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 you don't care about nobody. Oh, God, y'all. But they talking about tithes and money. But they're not teaching you how to live a holy, righteous, and sanctified life. Oh, my God. These shepherds, oh, man. Sheepdogs, they're in a lot of trouble. Do you know that's a pastor's first responsibility is to teach you how to be a disciplined one? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They are supposed to teach us how to live righteous, holy, sanctified lives. But it's not their entire responsibility. It's yours too. After all, what did God's son die for? So we could have a personal relationship with Jesus, back in fellowship with the Father, by way of the indwelling and power and working of the Holy Spirit. 
I don't, I don't ever remember hearing a pastor teach like this, nor preach. Now, when I was younger, yes, I do. I do. But not since I've been over 25 years of age, and I'm 51. I don't hear pastors say, y'all, if, you, if you're bitter, you're mean, and the root of that is unforgiveness. I have never seen the most nastiest, unkind, heathenistic Christians they in the church. I'm talking full of jealousy, full of hatred, gossiping, witchcraft. I know women who is old. They about 65, 70, some of them older than that. They're witches. They're nasty, they're mean, and they're controlling. It's, that's, that's witchcraft. And anybody who is in rebellion, that's of the sin of witchcraft. See, you didn't know that was in the Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because if you're not being led of the Holy Spirit, well, what type of spirit is you led by? Demonic entities, demons. And you say, well, then, Marsha, are you saying that a Christian can be possessed of, of, of an evil spirit? Absolutely not. But Christians can be under the influence of, of demons. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And I know a whole heap of them. Most of the church is full of folks like that. Oh, I know, I know folks ain't going like this. But if you lying, that's a lying devil. If you smoking weed, that's an a, 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 a unclean demon. If you sexing and not married, that's an unclean spirit. If you're masturbating and watching porn, you all, what kind of spirits is this? It ain't the Holy Spirit. So who influence is we under when we live like that? You all, it is time to repent and repent every day throughout our day. Why would Jesus say, I'm coming for a bride without spot or wrinkle? Why would he say, lay aside the sins and the weights that so easily beset us? And everyone who has this hope purifies himself. How can we purify ourselves? Through the word, the washing of the word, and prayer, and fasting. Do you see that, you all? God is coming for a holy people. Notice he didn't say, I'm coming for a perfect people. None of us. Only one perfect. His name is Jesus. You all, I'm not going to be in trouble with God. I have done the best I can do. The best. By the grace he has afforded me. And I cannot even have the pure anointing of God if I'm living a double life. If I am a hypocrite. Do you know that? People think that they're anointed. No, what they are is gifted. The anointing is... God don't play with his power in a corrupted, sinful vessel. No. What you is, is you are, number one, you're operating through a kundalini witchcraft spirit. Number two, many people still got the gifts. The gifts is without repentance. You think the angels lost their gifts and abilities when the Lord kicked them out? He didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Satan still, he's still making music. The entire music industry is from the bowels of hell. Yes. That's one of his greatest tools. His music is universal. You all, if we don't stop sinning and repent every day, we are going to be and for the worst shock of our lives, of our lives. It, and, and, and you know it says many will come in at that hour, the tribulation um, uh, period. Yeah, and I think it'll be mostly thugs and gangbangers. I do, I do. Because see, they're not afraid of death right now. I don't, I don't believe it's going to be many church churchified religious people, no. Because most of them got this anyway. Oh, yeah. And see, 
This is why Brother Anthony and myself and a few others, not many are, are telling the truth on this. No, you ain't got many telling the truth on that. This thing has to do with the things that these towers, I can't say the full thing. I have to speak in code, but it's the number five in G. And what is in the human body is going to be an absolute control, slavery to it. And you're not going to have the wherewithal, nor the mind or the, the spirit of truth to help you not to take that or to take more of it because you already got it in you. And they just going, it's just going to be, it's never, it's, in, that, oh, see, I can't say it. I can't really say it here, but you're not going to have your own will to resist the devil. You're not, you're not. It's a wrap. That's why we are study compelling you and, and telling you, please repent of this. It don't have a bit of medicine in it. N not, I said not a bit of medicine. Oh, I'm getting it ready. I'm getting the ingredients, writing everything out. I'm, 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 oh, yes. All I can say is, just like Eve believe the serpent people are still listening to the enemy the serpent yep you all yep god understands we're just human i remember some oh lord some dude going to tell me god knows our frames are just dust and we was born and shaped in iniquity yep and that's why he sent jesus to take away the slavery and the power and the influence of sin over us, in us. Because sin is an inside job. It's in the heart. It's in the mind. It's all through the blood. Yes, sin is, is blood deep. You know how they say, and it's wrong to say this, ugly is skin deep, bone deep, which is, that's not right. But I'm going to tell you what's bone and skin deep sin. That's why these bodies, mm-mm. They're going to be left right here to go back to ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Flesh and blood cannot inherit eternal life. The Bible says that. So the Lord is telling Brother Anthony 100% right. This can't go up. It's corrupted, contaminated. No. That's why we have to be given a glorified body. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And do you know you're going to give a be given a body of destruction? You're going to be given a supernatural body that burns. And the demons is going to tear it apart and it's all going to come back together. They're going to stab people down there. Worms are going to crawl in and out your body in hell. Yeah, see y'all, y'all, see why y'all playing with sin? Sin's got a payment. It's got wages it's going to give out. And the Bible says that for the wages of sin is death, eternal separation from God and into the bowels of hell's fire. It even talk about a lake of fire. So if you think lust and lying, gossiping, not forgiving people, not being tender hearted, loving, merciful, read the Beatitudes. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. I bet you most Christians don't even know about the Beatitudes. I bet you. Anyway, you all, my grandsons and my son is calling me again. Uh, not calling me, texting me. I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's over. It's over. And if we don't have the humility and the sincerity to uh, humble ourselves. You guys, we're going to burn forever. And you know what's so sad? God did not make hell for mankind. It tells you in Revelations. He said he made hell for Satan and his fallen angels and all wickedness and evil entities. But if you want to go, God got to let you because he won't go against our will. He will never do that.
you all please repent and repent every day and live for God. Do what is right in the eyes of God. That's what righteousness is, doing what is right in the eyes of God. Holiness is, is living for God as well, staying in his word, fasting, praying, talking to him. How can you spend how can you spend time with a holy God and not become holy like him? You become the company you keep. That's why I'd rather roll alone because see, I'm not trying to take me to hell. And a whole lot of people going to say, I wish I would have, I would have loved her. I would have been her friend. Especially so-called Christians. Because I'm not leading me in any sin, so I wouldn't lead you that way. The Bible says to provoke one another to good works. To draw each other closer to the Lord, not away from God. So anyone who's encouraging you to drink and smoke and get on the phone and talk about people and gossip, they're carnal, they're lukewarm. And worse, most of them believe once saved, always saved. But that's a lie, you guys. Those are called doctrines of demons. Anyway, I love you all. God bless you and I'll be back.